My name is William Justice and this, and this is about learning filmmaking. October is here and it's time to start investigating everything weird, creepy, and spooky using DaVinci Resolve. It was dark and late one night. I came home wearing this mask. Happy Halloween. I scared the mess out of my wife and son. That was over 10 years ago. And they're still really mad about it. My wife was pregnant at the time. Not a good idea. Masks work great for Halloween. But let's see if we can put something together with DaVinci Resolve and a few effects to create some interesting things. We're going to use DaVinci Resolve and a single mirror effect to set up this strange face. With a few more effects and some tracking, we can create a weird, distorted, warped face. Finally, we're going to do an upside down face flip. Stick around to learn how to create effects like these and more. Halloween is coming, so I'm planning on creating a series of videos of everything odd, weird, creepy, and scary. Please subscribe to follow my progress. Let's get started. It's time to make some weird faces. We have three clips loaded into the timeline, one, one for each of the effects that we're going to do. Um, on each of these, to get them into Fusion, you right click and to do new Fusion clip and then click Fusion at the bottom and that'll load it up. All right, the first one we're going to do is the mirror effect. Very simple, all you do is click on the media in, hit shift space and search for mirrors and you add it. Now what the mirror does is it does a reflection from one side and re repeats it on the other. So you, all you have to do is pull the mirror out and usually line it up right around, right around where the nose is. And all of a sudden we got some, some interesting thing. It's just repeating the face from the other side. So we can do things like adjust the angle on the mirror to get some different looks. Um, the other thing we can do is we can, we can flip the mirror so that it reflects the other side. And let's, we'll do a quick angle on it and pull it out. And we got an interesting face. So when we go back into the edit tab on this one, we can adjust the rotation angle to kind of line it up straight and zoom in a bit, bring it down. And that is a quick face, quick mirror effect. And once we have it in the timeline, we can simply adjust the rotation a little bit to make it a little straighter and uh, zoom in a touch and bring it down a bit. And let's take a look at what we have. We're going to use DaVinci Resolve and a single mirror effect to set up this strange face. Okay, the second effect we're going to do is the warped face. To get started with the warp effect, we're going to copy the media in. So we'll select media in, hit control C, click off of that, and then control V. So that gets us a duplicate of it. We're going to use this one to warp the face. So we're going to select it, hit shift space, and we're going to type in grid warp. Select it from the list and add it. We'll hit two on the warp, grid warp so that we can see it in the viewer. Then we're going to go to the X size and Y size. We'll bump that up to somewhere around 20. And this puts a grid on the face. We'll zoom in a bit. And we can take each of those points and move them to shift the face. So you can see we just move, move, you can move the points around however you want. We'll do a few of these here. There we got a we got a warped face. So the next thing we want to do is put a mask around the the face so that nothing warps around it. You can see here that the monitor back here is a little bit warped and some of the other things. So we're going to use the uh, the spline tool, put it there, and we're just going to draw an area right around my face and drag that into the median one to mask it out. Put a little bit of a soft edge on it so it blends in. 
and we're just going to connect this in and lay it on top of the other media in with the merge node and when we look at the media out we have the warped face now with this one if your head is moving around or what you're trying to warp is moving around you may need to um, use some tracking to follow where the where the warp is going okay last one here we're going to do the upside down face flip and a right click go into make it a fusion clip and go into fusion we're going to do some of the same stuff on this one as we did with the warp first thing we're going to do is copy the media in click on it hit control c and then hit control v to get the copy and we're going to start by making a mask around the face we're going to take the spline tool and drag that into the media in select the spline tool and we're going to draw a mask a shape area right around where my face is like that then we need to use a let's see we'll hit two on the media to see what we got there's the mask let's soften it up just a bit by going to the inspector and soften up the edge okay we're going to go ahead and hit media out and two to see it in the viewer Okay, we're going to select the media in um, the cop. We're going to set, select the copy media in and hit two, and there's our face. So we need to flip it upside down. We're going to use a transform node to do that. Hit shift space and search for transform. Add it in. We'll hit two on the transform so we can see what we're doing. In the inspector, all you need to do is hit the vert to flip it vertically. Now we're going to merge in the transform with the media in. We're going to drag the output of the transform to the output of the media in, and that will create a merge node for us. We'll click, select the media out, and hit two so we can see what we have. Now we just need to use the transform to move, move the copied face up into the correct position. We'll just slide it up a bit, like that, and adjust the angle slightly so that it lines up a little bit better. And this is the same thing. You might need to do a little bit of tracking if your face is moving around a lot with this one. And let's see what we have. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying my videos. If you like them, please subscribe. Also, if you have any comments or feedback, leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks.